coming up on us behalf. When we draw near to God, and God draws near to us, you'll start to see your sin. Because God is holy. And we are not holy. We are born in sin. I believe I am a bigger sinner than all of you. I believe I am a bigger sinner than all of you. You see, when you are close to God, your sin will be very clear to you. You'll see your sins, how ugly they are. You know, when I was a younger Christian, and when God would expose my sin, when God would expose my sin, I would, I would react by turning away from God because I was afraid. When I was convicted of my sins, I would experience uh, what you Filipinos call Nehia. <laughs> yes. And I would with, fe with feelings of shame, I would I would it was like I was trying to hide my face from God. But I have learned that this is the wrong reaction. When God exposes your sin, the best thing too is to draw near to God and, and lift those sins to Jesus. And lift your sins to Jesus every day. Use your sin to draw you near to God. Use your sin to bring you closer to God. You know, I've been a Christian for more than 20 years. And all the time, I'm still confessing my sin to God. I can use sin to become closer to God, not away from God. If you're feeling discouraged because of sin, you need to change your attitude. Even your sin can be an opportunity to draw near to God. Okay, let's turn to Psalm 29. You see, this morning as we were doing the praise and worship, we were practicing some of the things that is talked about in this psalm. But I believe God wants to give us more. He wants to give us the breakthroughs that are spoken about in this psalm. In Psalm 29, we have some symbolic language. But when you read the symbolic language in this psalm, you can translate the symbolic language to the circumstances of your life. The psalm says, Give unto the Lord. O you mighty ones, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. And worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. See, this is what we were doing this morning. We were giving these things to God. But we need to understand. When we, were, when we are giving them to God, 
God wants to respond back to us.